hello from the beautiful city of Yukaipa. Today is May 4th, 2020. We're still in the middle of this BS COVID lockdown. And I have a view of San Gorgonian Mountain here, not a tent hill in the sky as you can see. And I heard that today downtown there is a little protest about the lockdown. So let's go check it out. Just in general, what do you think of this whole coronavirus lockdown quarantine thing? I think from the very beginning, nothing they have told us has made any sense. If from the beginning they were going to quarantine people, then they should have actually locked everybody down if this was really what was going on. Instead of telling everyone they can flood into the grocery stores, then they tell us one minute masks don't work, then the next minute they're telling us that it lasts in the air for three hours and things are three percent effective nothing they say makes any sense yeah and what do you think of um you know like the numbers they've been reporting the statistics of how many people have been dying from this supposedly from the stuff i've seen on social media and people actually walking with their own cameras by the hospitals that are completely empty i got friends that are nurses that said that they can't even find nowhere to go volunteer at um from what I'm hearing, people are being furloughed as doctors, nurses laid off. Um, I talked to some people that were at the emergency shelter out in Indio, and they said they have no patients, and all the people that are stationed out there are just partying up in the hotel room. Officers I've talked to said that they're having 30-man barbecues, and they don't even believe none of this stuff. It doesn't make sense to them. Yeah, that's that's what I've been hearing too about, you know, nurses being furloughed and my sister works at a hospital in Fullerton and she's not a nurse, she, um, she's a speech therapist, but she said the same thing, you know, she was, her hours were cut and she said it's just been empty and people have been recording it all around the country so it really contradicts what they've been telling us on, yeah, you know. Yeah, so they've just kind of, you know, weaponized fear, weaponized the news, using it to control people. So what do you think the, the actual motivation is behind this whole thing? Uh, it's pretty bad because if you look at it, <laughs> yeah, if you look at it, 
Not only are they scaring everyone in that are homes, now they're disrupting the food chain. So what's going to happen once the people start seeing there's actually a food shortage? They're not going to have to fire a shot. People are going to start hurting each other. They're going to be trying to take what each other have. And if they don't stop all this right now, how do you reverse any of this? Even if it stopped right now, how do you reverse all this? You know? This is similar to things that have happened in the past, too. Governments and countries and rulers, they put pressure on the people to see how far they can take them, and then they give them a little bit of wiggle space. It's a test of the volatility and the temperament for people who know what they actually truly deserve. They do what they can, they shove them around, and then they try to create space. And the way that the food has been cut off in this country, and the way that they're still, they want to outsource our food from other countries rather than allowing all of these states to be able to create and farm not only in their own lands, but for the people of America and potentially the world, are not being allowed to because the FDA is all with the, with the pharmaceutical companies and with the vaccines to keep us under submission. When we are stuck in places of ill health, we are forced into the medical system. There are studies that have shown that this was also a bioweapon that was specifically designed for people of darker skin or mixed races. And this is another it's a vaccine that's also formulated to kill our older generations, the ones that have fought for freedom. Not only fought for freedom, but have been forced to believe that they need to work a job for the rest of their life so that they can get a little bit of social security 